Hey, it's Don W6GPS, and oh my goodness, we're going to update firmware, so please do not panic. So, make, first thing is make sure you have everything running first on your uh, Raspberry Pi and your Pi Star and your Zum Spot. Because what we want to do is we want to go into the system. Right now, I have the default uh, uh, user and password that's the Pi Star and uh, Raspberry. So, we go in here. We are uh, going to update firmware, update it, all sorts of different things here. So I clicked it, uh, I've already uh, hit uh, update firmware, and you're going to see things going on here. But there's a line here that says already up to date. So I've already updated uh, the initial firm, um, software uh, to the Pi Star. So we're going to be checking this every now and then we're going to be checking this just to make sure everything is uh, working correctly so don't get up don't get uh, all worried when you see uh, messages like uh, can't read this or can't do that it's it's all gonna work itself all out so next thing we do is we're gonna hit the admin button and hit the uh, configuration button and we're gonna go to expert mode and expert mode is we want to go to upgrade so we're going to do some upgrading and just remember these these uh, there's some information up here in the upper right hand corner Pi star and dashboard uh, version so we're going to hit upgrade and it says it detects Pi star uh, 3.411 running on Raspberry Pi hardware attached to a ZUM spot uh, module so that way you know everything's working and it's kind of looking through and it's upgraded we're just now upgraded from uh, 11 to 12 the last uh, digits there 11 to 12 and give it a few seconds gonna hit uh, hit the admin again um, and just run the update again just to make sure that uh, everything's all up to speed so the main thing is to update, upgrade, update, upgrade, go back and forth, back and forth, and uh, read what's going on. So back to the admin button, and we're going to go to uh, configuration, and we're going to go back to expert, and we're going to upgrade. And it's upgrade, starting upgrade, detected Pi Star 3.412 running, and it explains all this information. And the thing about these upgrades and these updates is they're sequential. So I was way back about four or five upgrades or updates. So you have to keep on doing the upgrade and update just to make sure that you're all caught up. I'd also have your radio on just to kind of monitor because uh, sometimes when it reboots it'll let you know that it's connected to your uh, connected to your uh, reflector. So we're doing an update. We did an update again and it still says that, it, that the update is up to date but we still have upgrades to update. And look at the uh, upper right hand corner and you can see the Pi Star version and the dashboard version. And so it's also good every now and then just to hit that update button just to get your firewall updated. So we're back to the configuration button, back to expert, going back to upgrade. And it's going to kind of give you an update here. It says uh, we were at 13, now we're at 14, and it kind of lets you know about your hardware again. This is kind of repetitive, I know, but uh, I didn't know about this till a couple months ago. So it's important to keep all these things updated. Okay, it says that the update is good. And I'm going to go back to upgrade. So, back to expert, upgrade, and we're upgrading the uh, Pi Star again uh, to 15. So, the last version as of this video was 16, and it'll get and it will give you a message, and I'll show you what that message is. So it's finished. 
Doesn't hurt to do another update, but we'll do another upgrade. And I've been told to kind of alternate updates and upgrades. And it says right here, finally, at uh, 3.4.16, I'm already running the latest version. All right, so we'll, we'll check it one more time, upgrade, and it says you are running the latest version. So when you see that on updates and upgrades, then you're good to go. Now, we hit uh, SSH access. We're going to go in here. We're going to update the firmware. So you're going to hit uh, PyStar, and the password does not echo, so you type in Raspberry. Again, this is the defaults. Then you're going to log into the... Uh, Command line where we're gonna do where we're gonna do this uh, firmware update, and you hit RPI uh, hyphen RW, and it makes it uh, uh, a write uh, writable um, file now. Type sudo pi star with no hyphen between pi star, but you want sudo pi star hyphen zumspot flash all one word. Some spot flash space RPI not PRI back up here RPI hit enter and then um, it says hit any key so I hit any key when I hit any key then this activity is going to go on and what it is it's updating the the actual firmware on the some spot hardware so whatever you do make sure you know you got plenty of power on your computer uh, all this stuff is very very smooth this is why I like Zem spots because it's very very easy once you know the the little terminology of what to do so the main thing is update upgrade and then go ahead and do your firmware update so you hit any key this this is it doesn't give you any feedback of what's going on but what is going to happen is, is you're going to get a word that says connect to sip you a cold one right now. Wait for that connect to show up. It will show up here eventually. Just be patient. Up oh, there's connect. So hit connect, and basically um, it's rebooting itself. It's kind of setting itself up uh, to be used. <laughs> so go. We're going to look here at our top here. Our updates are all done on the Pi Star and the dashboard. Um, we're going to go back uh, to the gateway. And if you notice here on the uh, left hand side, um, nothing's going on here. And that's because the system's still thinking about it. And what I've found is, is you really need to do a hard reboot. So you can go into one of the buttons here the admin button and hit power and go ahead and hit the reboot it's gonna take 50 seconds I'm not gonna bore you for 50 seconds so I'm gonna speed the video up here speed up speed up speed up now we'll take a little bit of time here and just say if you need me you can email me at w6gps at yahoo.com um, the zum spots very very uh, um, uh, durable hardware and once that reboots we timed out and we're gonna go back in here uh, gonna go back into the um, some spot a Raspberry Pi or the Pi star so you can type in uh, Pi star local if you got an Apple computer or, or HTTP Pi star and then you can get back in there but still gotta wait now something there's still something going on you have to wait until there you go uh, the txt star and now you see your firmware version of your zum spot if you don't hear anything going on and that uh, firmware version doesn't show up that means there's something has happened so back to the configuration um, here's our default password pi star raspberry is the default password um, we'll go back in here and we can kind of see what's going on uh, what I, I'm going to do now is I'm just going to download the configuration so I can save it. So you hit the download button. I'm going to do a save as. I put it on my desktop and that way I've got a good configuration if something goes south. And then you just reverse the process by going uh, and uploading it on the right hand side. So that's, that's another video down the road. Back to the dashboard and you can see everything's honky dory. 
So again, if you need me, my name's Don W6GPS. I'm usually on 30 Charlie. And uh, you can also email me at uh, W6GPS at Yahoo.com. Also, I have noticed here if you do pull downs and, and you uh, hover your mouse over the uh, settings, it kind of gives you a little explanation what's going on. So hopefully, and you can just verify that your wireless and all that kind of stuff's working. Again, W6GPS at Yahoo.com. Don't be afraid. Firmware ain't going to kill you. It's easy, easy peasy stuff.